All right, hey guys, my name is Shadow, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. So, I'm getting ready to do my next round of engineer upgrades, and for those, we'll mostly be going to the Dweller to upgrade things like our power distributor, and um, the Dweller can also upgrade lasers, so we're going to be upgrading the beam lasers on the Python as well. But um, we're also going to be going back to Todd the Blaster McQuinn, and we're going to be doing the level 2 upgrades for our multi-cannons. So, we have most of the materials that we need to do that. However, there is one more material that we need, and that is called praseodymium. I hope I'm saying that right. That's one of those words I've never heard anybody say out loud. It's only something I've ever seen written down. So if I've said that incorrectly, let me know in the comments. Anyways, praseodymium. This is a metal, and it's it's not the most rare metal in the game by any means, but it is a somewhat mm, uncommonly occurring metal. Um, and you can't actually purchase it at any space stations, as far as I know. I've, I've googled, and I've, I've searched, and it does not appear anywhere to be for sale. So it looks like the only way to get this substance is by mining for it. So, that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be mining for praseodymium. I'm going to show you guys how to obtain this. So that's why we're here in this Cobra Mark IV. So... So first of all, we are loaded out for mining, but we're not loaded out in such a way as to actually, you know, maximize our profits by mining or anything like that. That's really not the point. This ship is really just to mine such materials as are going to be necessary for engineer upgrades. So um, let's just take a look at our hard points and utilities and internals and stuff really quick. And we'll not spend a whole lot of time on this, but just kind of a brief rundown if you if you're not someone who does a lot of mining like me I have never mined before in my life so this is pretty much my first time and so if there is actually a better way to do this than I'm doing let me know down in the comments but anyways here's here's our loadout so for our hard points we have our 2d mining lasers and our medium hard points and then for our small hard points, yes, there are small mining lasers as well as medium mining lasers, but we'll just we'll just have pulse lasers in here because you never know when we're going to get attacked by a pirate. Let's take a look at what else we have in here. So there's really nothing we can put in a utility mount that's going to uh, help us mine better or more efficiently. So we just have, you know, a chaff launcher in case we get attacked and a heat sink launcher because why not, basically. So... Let's look at our internals. So our core internals are, are pretty much just, you know, A-rated stuff, lightweight alloy, um, 4A power plant, 4A thrusters, 4A frame shift. Now the 4A frame shift drive um, can be kind of important if you have to do, you know, jumping to other systems or stuff like that. Uh, however, with this particular ship, uh, we're actually going to be staying in this system and we'll get to that in just a minute. But we have the 3D life support system because D is the lightest weight. We have a 3B power distributor. Just because I couldn't find the class A power distributor uh, here at this station. But actually, let's just click in here now and see if we can find, you know, a nice, a nice A-rated power distributor. Oh, look, there it is. So let's just pop this A-rated distributor onto the ship. And um, maybe that'll actually help us run our mining lasers a little bit longer. So um, now we've got the 3A power distributor. So yeah, that should be a little bit more beneficial. So we might be able to fire those mining lasers somewhat longer. I just said that. Um, then we have 3D sensors because D is the lightest weight. I also just said that. And we have our default 16 ton fuel tank. And now let's take a look at the actual meat of this build. Well, other than the mining lasers, of course. So we have cargo racks. We need cargo space for all of that refined ore that we're going to be carrying around. So we have two 4E racks that can hold 16 tons of cargo each. Then we also have a refinery. Now a refinery is essential for mining because what's actually happening is you're picking up fragments of, of asteroid that have more than one material in them and what the refinery does is separate those materials out into usable bits of stuff now 
Um, for defensive purposes, we have a 3C biweave shield because, well, this ship is tiny and uh, it's easily damaged. And, uh, I mean, we're not really planning on going into combat with the mining vessel. That would be stupid. Then we have the 3C collector limpet controller. Now, collector limpets are also pretty essential for mining. Yes, you can do it without collector limpets, but you will be there all day. Now, um, in addition to that, we have the 1A prospector limpet controller. Now, prospector limpets are very important for identifying what materials are actually inside an asteroid. We have our, our, our advanced discovery scanner here, and this is just in case you actually need to jump to another system in order to mine something because it's very hard to get to uh, like an asteroid belt or, or a planet with the with a large ring segment or something if you don't know it's there. But I think that's uh, pretty much the bulk of this build. So let's uh, let's see what kind of places we're going to go and and look for to mine. So we're talking about praseodymium. That's what we're looking for today. Now, praseodymium, like I was saying earlier, is kind of a rare metal. It's not the most rare metal, but it is kind of a rare metal. And as such, you will need to find it in a metallic or metal-rich asteroid. Now, if we click on the info button right here and we select uh, an object like one of these gas giants here, uh, we can scroll down and we can see what its ring segments are made out of. So you can see this ring segment right here is made out of rock, and then it's also got a second ring segment that's made out of ice. And um, pretty much all of the planets here are like that, rocky and icy. But um, that's really not what we're looking for. Rock or ice will not yield praseodymium. So um, where do we get that in this system then? Well, I'm glad you asked because we have an asteroid belt here. And if we click on that and we have the info panel open, we can see it says ring type metal rich. This is what we want, metal rich. So that is where we're going to find praseodymium. Now you can also find praseodymium in, in rings that say metallic. So this is where we're going to be going right now to mine some praseodymium. So let's exit out of this system map. And um, before we go, we need to open up our starport services. Now I've already done this, but this is just checking off our checklist basically. We need to open up our starport services, click on the restock tab, and make sure we've actually purchased some limpets. Now you can see my cargo bay is actually full of limpets, so we're fine. And um, if you've never used limpets before, there's only one type of limpet that you can purchase. It's actually the controller modules that cause them to do different things. They, they program them once you activate them, and then based on which controller you've used, you will launch that type of limpet. So we only need to fill up our cargo bay with limpets, and then we're good to go. So since we are good to go, Let's just uh, go over here back to the system map and we will just set a course for the Kauhua A belt and we'll exit the system map and then we will launch the ship, head for that and we will commence mining procedures. All right, so here we are in the Kauhua A belt. Now, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is first of all, turn your lights on because it's quite dark. Secondly, um, you're going to want to deploy your hard points because that's where your mining lasers are. But before you start actually mining an asteroid, we're just going to launch a prospector drone at it. Programming limpet drone. And then it's just going to fly over there. And now how we're going to see what's in this asteroid is we are going to target that drone. And then on our target info panel, we can see what it contains. So it says minerals remaining 100%, coltan 14.75%, indite 11.06%, material content low. So this asteroid does not contain praseodymium, which is what we're looking for. So we're not going to waste our time mining this particular asteroid. So now what we're gonna do is just fly around and fire prospector drones at different asteroids until we come across one that contains praseodymium, basically. 
Okay, so we finally found an asteroid that contains praseodymium. You can see it says 7.1%. That's exactly what we're looking for. So now what we're going to do is um, pull up our mining lasers and just start uh, drilling into the asteroid, basically. And um, But bef actually, before we do that, what we're going to do is lower our cargo scoop because that has to be open in order for the collector limpets to actually put cargo in in the cargo bay so let's uh let's start drilling here so now we can look on our contacts thing and we can see all the fragments of stuff that contain praseodymium so now what we do is target those and select one of our collector limpets and then just deploy it and it will go collect that fragment and bring it into our cargo bay and then we just keep doing that basically and we just do that for all the fragments that contain praseodymium. Okay, so we should have just collect, oh, as soon as that one gets back, we will have collected four asteroid fragments containing praseodymium. Okay. Oh, and look, there's one more even. Okay. So let's, uh, let's grab that one too. So five, five fragments containing praseodymium just now. Now, having collected that, we can go and look at our inventory. Now, what's gonna happen when we bring those fragments uh, into our cargo bay with the collector limpets is they're going to go into our refinery, basically. Now, the refinery is a tab right here. As you can see, it says praseodymium 16%. Now, those other two things here, bertrandite and lepidolite, were, uh, were metals that were mixed in with that or mixed in that fragment with the praseodymium. So what the refinery is doing is separating those materials out. So basically we've collected 16% praseodymium, 35% bertrandite, and 12, or 25% lipidolite. Now, in order to get one entire piece of praseodymium, that number needs to increase from 16% to 100%, and then it will make one more praseodymium uh, ingot, I guess, here in, in our cargo bay. So what we're going to do is basically just keep mining and we'll just keep doing that and eventually that number will increase to 100%. And once we've done that twice, we'll have three pieces of praseodymium in our cargo bay, which is the number of pieces of praseodymium that we're going to need to do the multi-cannon upgrades on the pythons. Now, what's happened is we have pretty much run out of limpets. So we have five collectors or seven prospectors left, basically. So now what we're gonna have to do is return to a space station nearby that has a restock facility, and we'll have to just get some more limpets and come back out here and do it again. So about 47 limpets is what we started with, and uh, that's about how many it will take to uh, actually get one piece of praseodymium, basically. But yeah, that is um, that is how you get this stuff. So I hope you guys found this video informative. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, um, please stick a thumbs up on it. That would be great. If you didn't like it, you can stick a thumbs down on it. And um, that's fine, too. That's your opinion. Um, but um, yeah, if I didn't cover anything that you think I should have in this video, let me know down in the comments. Also, just let me know about your general thoughts and stuff down in the comments. And uh, that's it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.